Good day. Welcome to Endurance Room. Today we're going over some setup options for a, a solo plosh palaka and how to maximize your space. Hmm. The plosh palaka is six foot by six foot. It's a great piece of gear. You've seen me use it in many other videos. I love it. Totally love it. But I'm six foot two. And this was designed for a five foot five Russian soldier back in the My 50s. Size. So the basic shelter configuration for a solo plosh palaka is just a basic plow point, three sides down, one side tied up. For me, it's it's not quite quite sufficient. So when I'm using it as a shelter, I'm usually almost always using two or more. Catherine's 5'4", and for a person her size, like, that's pretty good. But check it out. She's covered from three sides and has a roof over her head. And her legs are almost stretched out. And there's room for Rush. It's pretty good. He's an 80 pound dog. 80 pound dog. I'm a bit larger. It's six foot two. This this will work, but if the weather's decent, I've got another option for you. I set it up. You just take your paracord ridge line, but instead of running it straight, run it down to the ground. I have two small prusik loops already set up on my ridge line. It's just another piece of paracord looped over the line a couple times and then fed back through itself and when you pull down on it it applies tension to this inner piece of paracord and locks in place it's great real simple and easy to set up and this lets you put tension on your tarps on your on your palakas the way to get the most space out of a single palaka is to run it diagonally that's going to give you the most amount of room lengthwise. Running a lean-to is good, but it kind of tucks it down, the back edge down to the ground, and it, it eats up a lot of space. You're going to get more length running it diagonally, as you would do in a plow point, but this will let you get the back end up off the ground and give you a little bit more room. And the way to do that is simple. I'm just going to lay it up over top of the paracord ridge line and secure it with the two prusik loops that are already on the line with two tent spikes. Next, I'm gonna use some cordage to tie off the other two corners. I'm just taking some deadfall, made myself a little toggle. I've got some cordage, loop it over, make a bite, fold it back onto itself. There's my loop. I'm gonna feed that through the corner of the palaka. Drop my toggle through. Cinch it down. Pull my, pull my 10 stig taut. Drive it in. So this ends up giving you the same basic shelter configuration, but now you got some air under it, which is gonna maximize your room at the back end of the tarp. So for a single Palaka shelter, this is gonna give you the most room. This style or a variation thereof with the back end up off the ground, you could stake the side corners directly to the ground, but this lets you adjust the height. So check it out. I've got room to sit and cover it over. And with my with my feet fully extended, I still have you know two feet of roof over top of my head. There's room for two. <laughs> <laughs> oh. 
Hope you guys enjoyed. This was just a quick look at setting up your palaka to give you the most amount of space possible with one palaka. If you've got multiples, then the sky's the limit with these things. But if you're just out on the trail and you got one with you, this is a great option. Thanks a lot. Thanks for hanging out. Hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure you're hitting the subscribe button because we're going to be doing a giveaway real soon. We're slowly closing in on a thousand subs. We had 19 in January and things have been going awesome. We just want to give back and say thanks. We're going to be doing a upcycle knife with a leather sheath. One of a kind. You're not going to see it anywhere else. And to get the chance to, to get in on it, all you have to do is be subscribed to the channel and you're going to have to comment on a future video. We're going to announce details down the road, but to make it happen, you have to be subbed to the channel. So, thanks Thank a lot. You. We'll see you guys next time. Cheers. See ya. Bye-bye.